Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, it's Rhonda. And I did a video uh, last week uh, showing how to make a Tumblr wrap seamless using the new Affinity. And I had a comment, somebody asking about making it easier, that it looked like, you know, a, di a lot of different uh, programs and steps you had to use. So I've been sitting down and I've been playing with Affinity more and more. And I want to show you now how you can create a seamless Tumblr wrap start to finish inside of Affinity. You never have to leave it. You don't have to use any other programs. All right. So here I am inside of Affinity and I am on my Canva AI studio. Now this is only going to work if you have a pro Canva account. Okay. If you don't have a pro Canva account, I have a link below where you can get a 30 day free trial so you can try it out. And I'm going to come up here to File, New. And I have a preset here already uh, for my Tumblr wrap size, which is 2790 by 2460. If you don't have that yet, that's OK. You can come over here on the right and create one. So whenever you open this up, it will be there. And you can uh, just click on it and create your document. OK, so here we have our artboard, our blank canvas. It is the exact size I need for a Tumblr wrap, 2790, 2460, uh, 300 pixels per inch. All right. So now what I need to do is get a prompt to make my design. So I'm just going to come in here to my creative AI prompt library and I'm looking around and New Year's is coming. So I'm going to grab this Lunar New Year Panda and I'm just going to copy that prompt and I'm going to take that back into Affinity here. Now while I'm in the, <clears throat> excuse me, while I'm in the Canva AI studio, over here on the right I can type paste my prompt in and have it generate the image right here inside of Affinity. So I'm just putting that in and I'm going to click generate and it'll take just a second or two. Okay, so here are the images it made. It gave me four different variations. So this is the first one, the second one, the third, and the fourth. And I think I like the third one best. So now I have this image created, but you see it's a lot smaller than my Tumblr wrap. And if I just stretch it, you know, we'll lose quality. So while I have the image selected, I'm going to come right over here on my left side panel. And there is a button called Super Resolution Tool, which is basically Affinity's built in upscaler. So I'm just going to click on that and it is going to automatically upscale my image by 200%. And you can change that. So I'm going to let it do its thing. It takes just a minute or two to do it. All right, so it did that. And see, we can change this down here, the slider. If I want it to be 250%, I can do that which is plenty. So I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see this just a little better. And we have this slider here that shows us the before and after. So this is before and then after. I mean, there's not, a, you can definitely see here in like the basket area that it's much crisper and the bowl is more crisp and clean. So it definitely did its job and I'm just going to hit apply. So now I can take this 
and I can stretch it out to fit my artboard size here, okay? Let me move this around a little and decide where I want to center this. And I think that looks good right there. And now what I'm gonna do is come to Document, Flatten. And that basically cropped my image to fit my artboard. So now my image is the 2790 by 2460. Okay, now we're just gonna grab a hold of this. And while I'm holding down my Shift key, I'm gonna slide this to the left till it snaps in the middle. Next, I'm going to hold in my Alt key click on this image and come back with it until it snaps in the middle. When you hold the Alt and then click on the image, it will make a copy of it. It will make a new layer for you. So here we are. We need to make this seamless. We want there to be no seam there. So on the left-hand menu, I'm going to select Tool and I am going to choose the rectangular marquee. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna select about this much on both sides of that seam, okay? And then I am just going to come back over to the left and click on the generative fill tool. Now you can prompt in here if you want to. I typically leave it blank and I usually ask it to give me three different options. Then I click apply. And again, this will take just a minute or two for it to generate the fill. Okay, so here it is. You can see this is my default option. And then let's check this one. And then this one. And I think all of them look pretty good. Um, I think I like this one though with the cherry blossoms here. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. So once you select the one you want, you can just click the little X to get rid of it. And now we have our image will be seamless. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back up here to document. We're going to flatten it again. And now we will select our move tool and we're going to repeat that process so we can put this image back the way it belongs. We're going to hold down our shift, slide that to the center. We're going to hold in our alt key and click. And now we have a copy of it and we're going to move this over so it snaps in the center just like that. And now our image is put back together the way it should be. Now, I've noticed this little white line here in the center. I have not. What I do is I'll come up to document and I will flatten it again and that little line disappears, okay? It just seems to be a quirk of affinity. Uh, don't worry about it too much. So now that I have this all flattened, this has been upscaled. It is the proper size and it is now seamless. So this Tumblr wrap is finished. All you have to do now is go to File, Export, and you want to save it as a PNG. And we want to make sure it's the right size. And let's go down here and look. If there's anything we need to change here, I do not believe so. So now we just hit export and you can save it wherever you want. Panda New Year Tumblr. That's it. It's ready to upload now to your Etsy shop. It's completely done. All you need to do now is create your mockups for it and you're good to go. All right. So this is as easy as it gets. When you can do everything all in one program from start to finish, including your upscaling, your seamless work, everything right here. I, I just don't think it gets any easier for you. If you have any questions, drop them below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.